In this video, I'm going to give you one of the best gun bunch passing concepts in Madden 23. What's going on guys? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you here to the channel. We do videos every single day to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at the game, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. Now again, I wanted to talk today about one of the best passing concepts that has come out of bunch this year. And this is a concept that is going to do a great job at beating man coverage and is going to do a great job at spacing the field. Now, What's important about this concept is really you want to run this with your bunch to the short side, in my personal opinion, but you can run this you know, on either hash mark. It's going to be effective. And if you're watching this and you want to dive more into the gun bunch offense, I have three different eBooks out on bunch. You can get all of them by joining our Patreon. Our Patreon includes access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. In addition to that, you're also going to get all the updates to those eBooks, which we've dropped numerous updates throughout the Madden 23 season. Now, I will say that one ability that's going to help make this a little bit more effective for you is going to be Outside Apprentice, but we are going to show you how to run this if you don't have Outside Apprentice as well. And the play we're going to be taking a look at is Mesh Post. I think Mesh Post is the best play in the game this year from a bunch perspective because of its ability to beat man-to-man -man coverage consistently and also because of some of the things we can do to encourage this to be a better zone beater. So our setup for this is we're going to use that outside apprentice to put a C route here on the left side. But what I want to show you is this running back wheel route. If you put him on a wheel, you're going to notice that this wheel is going to cut up field. And if they are in zone coverage, he is actually going to pull the zone coverage. And so there's this little window in which we can throw this specifically against an outside third. So let me jump into a cover three. I'm going to go ahead and press it because that's what most people um, are going to do. And you're going to see here that this third will actually not play the C route. Now, if I was to take the running back off of that wheel route, or if I was to put my bunch to the wide side of the field, you will notice that this is not going to be very effective. So again, here's cover three. And you're going to see here that this outside third is going to play the C route much better. I was still able to catch it because it's Madden 23. But you see that he's able to play this much better. Now, this is really important because one of the best ways to stop C routes in this game is to put thirds and quarters over there. However, if they're in man-to-man -man coverage, this is one of the best man beaters in the game this year. It's been one of the best man beaters all season long, and I think it's going to be one of the best and most consistent man beaters, um, again, throughout the rest of the season. So again, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to C route this solo receiver, and you're going to see in man-to-man -man coverage, he normally will cook. Evans doesn't have the best route running in the world, and that's part of why he's getting covered a little bit better. But you all have seen probably by this point in the year that you know this is a really, really good and effective way to beat man. Now, with cover four, you should be able to throw this. If you get something like this, um, you just want to wait on that just a little bit more. But you see here, see how I can throw this to the wide side. So that's a big, big deal. So there's not really a whole lot they can do from a zone coverage perspective. That is going to give me a lot of trouble. So what I want to do with this play um, is we are actually going to take... Uh, our tight end and we're going to put him on an out we're going to slant our slot receiver and we're going to motion him across so you see here this is what the play art looks like now what's great about this play is it attacks the entire field whether it be man or zone coverage now my first read on this is always my quick throw wheel if that's not there i want to look to my tight end out he fell down and then i want to look to my slant post concept now that C route wheel combo is really effective, um, but if they're blitzing you, if they're sending heavy pressure, you need to be ready to get off of that quickly to be able to attack with your wheel route or your out route. Um, so you see here again, here's the wheel, not there, not there, not there, but then my post. And what's also really important about that post is if you put someone there that has really good route running, then you're gonna be able to attack with that post route. Now another variation of this setup that does not require motion would be some variation that looks kind of like this or just simply motioning this guy outside. This is going to allow us to beat zone on both sides of the field rather quickly within the play, as you can see right there. So if you're getting more man coverage, you might consider um, you know, putting a streak out in the field, whether it be from your tight end or your slot receiver. I think this right here is actually a really good setup, really underrated setup. So you still have that clear out streak against zone, but now you have your slant post concept and this post is gonna get into a really nice little pocket in behind the zones. 
Last little thing that I want to show you here is, again, this cover three. And I want to show you how this wheel route really just does such a good job at pulling the third. Um, if it's a... There's really no zone in the game that is going to be able to guard this if you have enough time to let that third get sucked in and let that wheel route get over there, as you can see. So you have the wheel route. You have, um, you know, a lot of things. They're going to have to also play hard flats, by the way, because if they don't play hard flats, then they're going to, you know, you can throw, you just throw this quick throw wheel right there. Now, if they play cover two, you'll see right here, cover two is going to not be able to get out there as well. So pretty much any zone in the game, they can't guard um, with this with this setup, and then again you have this this very simple but very effective uh, slant pose concept with you know this this little setup right here. So now if they're not playing hard flats on the right, I can throw my tight end out route, which I would really encourage you to throw. And then if they are playing hard flats, then it should open up these little windows for the slant post concept, which is one of the best concepts in the game every single year now i would really recommend re-wheeling the running back and the reason why is because if i was leaving him on a stock route he's not going to get up field as fast and that's a big big deal but as you can see late in the play if they're playing hard flats then i can hit my 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 uh, slant route so they have to really do a lot with their user they in the, the real beauty of this play like i said is that it attacks the it attacks the whole field um, that is the real, see here, this is the sock wheel. See how he's going to, he's going way out there. If I rewheel him, you see how he's a little bit more upfield. That's the big piece to this. And again, you can hit that post in little windows against every single defense in the game. So this is one of the best bunch plays in the game. If you would like to learn uh, how I use the rest of the bunch offense, make sure that you check out my Gun Bunch Offensive eBook, where we teach you the ins and outs of multiple different bunch formations, Washington, West Coast. I think we also broke down Pittsburgh, and we're going to be breaking down to Indianapolis uh, over the course of the next couple of days. So make sure you're in the Patreon. $10 will get you access to all of our eBooks, as well as all of the updates to those eBooks, and any new eBooks that we release while you are a member. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.